so yeah, hello guys welcome back this is viren kumar so uh, today in this video session i am going to discuss about the agents and the agent pool in the azure devops so here is the agenda which we are going to cover in this video session the first i will cover the what is the agent and what is the agent pool so what is the difference between the agent and the agent pool after that i will discuss the need of the agents why we need the agent in the azure devops and the requirement of the agents in the azure devops if you are running with the pipelines then why we need the agents in the azure devops then we will talk about the types of the agents how many types of the agents available in the azure devops those are provided by the microsoft and then how we can manage the different type of the agents in the azure devops how we can download the custom agents that we will discuss in this video then after downloading of the agent we will configure the agent so how we can configure the agents that we will cover in this video session then running of the agents once the configuration is done then how we can run the agent on the azure devops finally how we can delete the offline of the those agents which is not useful we can how we can delete and finally i'll summarize the steps so by using the steps you can easily configure the agents and the agent pool in the azure devops so first and the what is the agent and the agent to build the code and the deploy the software using the azure pipelines we need at least one agent if you are working with the azure then you should aware about the azure pipelines to work with the azure pipelines we need at least one agent now what is the agent basically the agent is a server with the appropriate operating system and the tools installed and the configured we can see this the agent is a server or we can say it is a machine which is having the operating system and the all the required tools installed and the configured in the operating system machine let's assume that your machine so you have the laptop or the your desktop there you have the windows operating system linux operating system any operating system that called the agent basically agent is a machine which will operate to run your commands or your pipelines where you can build the pipeline and you can deploy the application on the particular server so agent in simple words agent is a machine now we will see the types of the agent mainly in the azure devops there are the two types of the agent available as of now the one agent called the microsoft hosted agent the microsoft hosted agent are managed by the microsoft so these agent are in the cloud these are the virtual machines if you know the concept of the virtualization and the cloud then you can easily understand the microsoft hosted agent concept the second type of the agents is the self hosted agents these agents basically created and managed by the customer so we can create the self hosted agent and we can destroy the self hosted agent so basically these are in our hand so you can make your own laptop on the system as a self hosted agent then your script will run on the your agents microsoft hosted agents we'll talk about more about the microsoft hosted agent with the microsoft hosted agent each job in the pipeline get a fresh agent when you run the pipeline and you have the job in the pipeline then if you configure the azure pipelines with a microsoft hosted agent then you will get the a fresh agent whenever you are running the pipeline there there are lots of virtual machines available or the images of the machine are available those are provided by the microsoft under the microsoft hosted agent so i will show in the demo part you can easily understand microsoft hosted agent if your pipeline are in the azure pipelines 
then you have got a convenient option to run your jobs using the microsoft hosted agent azure pipelines is a agent pool which is having the microsoft hosted agents each time you run a pipeline you get a fresh virtual machine for each job in the pipeline virtual machine image or the agent all are the same things so when we are running with a microsoft hosted agent you will get a fresh agent or the virtual machine now we'll talk about the agent pool azure pipelines provides a predefined agent pool named the azure pipelines with the microsoft hosted agent so when you open the agent pool you will have the azure pipelines is a already created by the microsoft this is a predefined agent pool and its name is the azure pipelines and we, but this azure pipelines is having the microsoft hosted agents the azure pipelines agent pool offers the several virtual machines when you click and the drop down the azure pipelines you will get the several number of the virtual machine images to choose from them each including a broad range of the tools and the software that means this is the azure pipelines is a agent pool which is having a microsoft hosted agent and out of these agents you can select any virtual machines where you want to deploy and run your code your applications and these virtual machines already have some tools and the software installed now we'll talk about the self hosted agents self hosted agent specify what capabilities an agent must to run your job so these self hosted agent is your machine your laptop can be your self hosted agent if there is only one agent in your agent pool that matches the pipeline's demands the pipeline will wait until the agent is available suppose that my laptop is the self hosted agent if any job is running on my personal laptop then i have to wait till the first job is completed on my laptop so you will be in the queue where in the microsoft hosted agent whenever you are running a job it will give you a fresh virtual image of the agent you no need to wait for the the machine should be free or the agent should be available this is the basic difference between the self hosted agent and the microsoft hosted agent so azure devops then azure pipelines and azure pipelines require the self hosted agent so your desktop can be self hosted agent your laptop can be the self hosted agent when you are running your job on your laptop at a time then you need to wait to run the second job so your job will be in the queue we will talk the how to download and the configure the agents basically if you want to run or uh, the script on your local system if you want to make your local system as a agent it can be the windows machine linux machine any operating system machine that you want to run then you need and to download and the configure the agent or uh, creating the pat pat means personal access token by using this personal access token you can authenticate the, your personal laptop to connect with the azure devops so to make the connection between your laptop and the azure devops you need to create the personal access token to authenticate so i will show you how to create and how to configure